Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and we, today we are going to make a pair of earrings from using our bargain bead box Woodland Whimsy and we're using these beautiful connectors and so let's turn down and I'll show you what I plan on doing. I actually got stuff divided into two piles here, one for each earring that we're going to do. I think I like this side better, so we'll try and make that be front and this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this beautiful vermilion one and we're going to put it on top up here. And then our ear wire will go there. Then we're going to take all these little bits and pieces down here. We're going to take all, all of our little steel um, leaves. Two of them are going to go on each one. And then on those, then we're going to also use the hematite leaves, three of those on either side. And we're making this a multiple of bits of dangle as it turns out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our like so and then And I forgot to get myself any spacers out, so we will have to do that. And so all of these go like this. Now I haven't decided how long of dangles I want these to be, but I do have the chain. I'm thinking maybe two different lengths or even multiple lengths, just cut them however. But we're going to have these up here. This is going to be up here. And then the leaf parts are going to dangle. I'm thinking we want it to be about this long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine links, maybe. Where are you? That makes them a little long. I'm not sure we want nine links, maybe just seven. Seven should be good. So let's cut a whole bunch of sevens. I think they're all gonna be about the same length. I could make them be different, but I'm not going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, where'd I just cut? It doesn't come off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we need about we're going to need 10 7 link lengths. So let's get cutting those. So there is enough for that side. So let's get started putting this together. One of these eye pins is for the top for putting our vermilion piece on and our um ear wire, so we'll get that later. Um, the, I have three ball head ones for our ones with our leaf on it. I need to get some more, um, I need to get some spacers out. <laughs> Excuse me. And then these are with the head, the other eye pins here are for our uh, little gold leaves because they have a loop at the top.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind these guys up and eat, put each of one of them on a length, one of the lengths of chain. So let's get our stepped bell making pliers and we will go to the smaller one up and around and over, bring her down, leave a gap, even her out, get a chain. Slider on. And wrap her up. Now, if you wanted to do each of these steps all at once, you can do that. Um, instead of just doing one at a time like I'm doing, you could have just taken, like I did the, with the first batch, and put the beads on and then do the bend. You could actually do the wrap at that time too. I'm trying to get out of the way because I got to cut you here. And tuck it in. Here's the first little one. These are all going to get hung from this guy. So we're just going to go down the line, do all of these. And then once we have that done, we're going to hang them from this loop here. And if we decide they're too long, then we can shorten them up by just cutting off some of the link. So let's just... Go down the line here. Once we get this one finished, then we do the exact same thing on the second. Now, if you also wanted to make these varying lengths of chain, you can always just cut different lengths and they will work just beautifully. So there are our little dangles all done up. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook these up onto our ring here. So we're going to open up these little jump rings that I got out here. Come on, you. and hook those on one by one. And we're going to do it so that this one is the outer one. And one like this will be the middle as well as the other outer one. So that we have the two um, steel leaves in the middle. There's number one. Now this is where the decision is, do we want them this long or do we want them shorter? 
Do we want them both, this, all of the them the same length? Um, this is where it's crucial to me. I need to see if how these leaves are hanging beside each other because I actually want the little filigree one to go a little lower. So we'll see if that's going to happen or not. Because it is a bigger one and it's on a eye pin rather than a head pin, I'm thinking it probably will go below. Yeah, like that. Come on, you. There we go. So that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So now we will get put the other three on. I was a little concerned whether all of these little chains could fit on this connector on this one side. But if anything, I think I could even put on a few more if I wanted to, which I don't, but I think five is sufficient. So now that we have this part done, then it's time to put on this top piece. So this one is very simple. Just open up our eye pin. it to the top, close this up, drop down our vermilion bead, and then since this goes this way, it needs to come in this way, so we want to bend it here, get our bell making pliers, in and around and over and here. Now this doesn't make any difference if you put it to um, the front or back because this is not got a definite front and back though I like this piece right here this color so I think it's going to be front as far as I'm concerned so feed your ear wire down your loop backwards Grab hold where they come together and wrap them up. Now this is one of those earrings where you can, if you don't want it this long, you don't have to um, put the, all the dangles on or you can shorten your chain up. Um, that is your preference. Tuck this baby in. Now 
Now we need to, oh boy, that's crooked, isn't it? We definitely need to straighten that up. This was a lighter weight eye pin, and you can definitely tell because it went really wonky. There we go. Oh, this, this eye pin opened a little bit on this side. See how that did that? We don't want that. So let's just twist it up there. So there's what our earring is going to look like. I actually do not like this. It's too weak. Um, you notice that that had bent as I was working on it down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this baby off. And it cut very easily. So this uh, is a very lightweight eye pin. So... I'm not happy with it, so I am going to get a different, uh, I'm going to get a, I have some, um, I don't mind it so much down here, it's not holding it a lot, and it's not, and it doesn't seem to have changed anything, so I'm not too worried about that, but this top piece is a problem, because it's carrying all the weight of everything, not just those few things. So we want to do something a little different here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get a couple of, these are three inch older three inch head pins. As you can see, they're a little bent, so I'm not too worried about them. So what I'm gonna do, put that over there. Well, first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the heads off of these and then just use them as a little piece of wire. So this can go over here. Come on, one of you guys separate out. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a wrapped loop here, down here on the bottom. Just a little wrapped loop. It doesn't need to be big because we're only carrying one bead on it. But Since we're going to do a little teeny bit of a wrapped loop here, I don't have to worry about it being pretty weak. I'm going to slide this onto here, and we're going to wrap this up like normal. And I just need one or two wraps on here, just enough to secure it. Now put that back on, and we'll wrap it up and put the ear wire on, and it will be much stronger this way. So, up and over and around, down, over. Now we're going to feed our ear wire on. See which one do I want front? This one over here. 
So push this down here. Into there. And see it did turn so that the more red is on this side. And now we just grab it and wrap it. And as soon as we have this wrap done, this earring is done. And we just have to do the other second one exactly the same way. Tuck this in. And this earring is finished. There we go. Now we just have to do our second one. We have one done and we need to go over here and make the other one. First thing we need to do is cut those uh, five little bits of seven links chain. So then we need to put the beaded dangles on like this, hook them up to our piece here and then put our vermilion on. So let's get doing that. Go, oh, there is our pair of earrings using our bargain bead box, Woodland Whimsy. I think they turned out really cute. Hope you liked them. Let's turn up and talk a bit. There we go. There are our pretty pair of earrings using our Woodland Whimsy kit from Bargain Beadbox. They are pretty long. They're definitely shoulder dusters. If you didn't want them that long, you can always shorten the chain up. Or you could also leave this vermilion bead on and just hook the, your ear wires to your uh, connector there. Aren't those pretty? Again, we were using our bargain bead box Woodland Whimsy to make these beautiful earrings. And uh, other than the spacers and my uh, the spacers, my ear wires, and my jump rings, and uh, the the um, eye pins and head pins, well, all the beads and all of the little components at the bottom, the connectors, the vermilion beads, those all came from the Bargain Bead Box Woodland Whimsy. Hope you enjoyed making these with me. I think they turned out really pretty. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.